Hey there, David Risley here with PCMech.com and today I'm going to be doing an upgrade to my MacBook Pro. So this is a MacBook Pro early 2011 model. If you look, want to look it up in the about this Mac thing, it would be uh, 8 comma 2, whatever that means. But anyway, this is an early 2011 MacBook Pro, has a 2 gigahertz i7 in it, comes with 4 gig of RAM, and a, I think it's got a 500 gig hard drive in it, but it's a regular drive. So what we're gonna be doing here today is doing a couple of upgrades to it. I went ahead and bought a couple of items that I'm gonna show you here in a minute, and I'm gonna be putting uh, more memory in this, and I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. So what I done is I went to Mac Sales, which, well, the company name is OWC, and I bought this, which is a, uh, an SSD drive. Now this is a 240 gigabyte, this is the 6G, they call it the Mercury Electra, and it's a 240 gig SSD. Now, it's a little bit of a storage decrease because the computer has a 500 gig in it already, but who cares? It's gonna be so much faster that I don't really care about the decrease. Not only that, when I really looked at what I needed on that laptop, it's a fraction of even what I have here. So I went ahead and got the 240 uh, SSD. It should be blazing fast compared to my platter drive on the inside. And then I picked up some memory. Now, so what I have here is two modules that equals 12 gig of RAM. So right now, the, the machine's got four, gig in it, four gigabyte in it. I'm gonna be taking out the four gig, putting in this one, which is gonna probably be one, it's gonna be an eight gig module and a four gig module. Give me 12. Um, I could have upgraded it, I believe, to 16. The, the weird thing is, officially, Apple will only say it supports eight, but you look around the internet, it will support 16 without any problem. But I could have gotten 16, it didn't cost that much extra, but I'm like, come on, I don't need 16 gig, I really don't even need 12. I'm pretty much just giving it a lot more breathing room for things like Photoshop and all that. And I think 12 a gigabyte will be absolutely plenty. The last thing that I got, is a little, it was like four dollars and something cents, little thing of screwdrivers. Uh, these are really small ones because the thing about the MacBook Pros is that they use very, very tiny screws. You're not going to take your typical big Phillips head and work on one of these things. It just simply won't work with the screws. So that's what these are. And then this little thing here is a little uh, thing to get the, the battery cover off and stuff like that. So I'll be showing you all that as we do the job. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so here we have the MacBook Pro. First step, obviously, turn it upside down. I should probably mention that it's good to put the thing uh, to app, you know, power it off. Don't put it in sleep mode or anything like that, and I've already done all that. The next thing you see when you get to the bottom of it is you're gonna see a series of screws all around the edge here. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is obviously remove all of them. You're gonna see three on this side, three here, and then you got two in the middle. Now we're gonna be removing these three here at, at the back of the unit first because they tend to be a little bit longer, and then we're gonna go ahead and, re and remove the rest of it, and then we're gonna pop this thing off. So let's go ahead and get that done. So there's the inside of the MacBook Pro in all of its glory. So right there, the, the two things that are gonna be relevant to us right now are gonna be the memory, which is gonna be right here, and then we got the hard drive over here, which we're gonna be replacing as well. The other thing that we're gonna be needing to do real quick is to take this little battery cover off right here. We're just simply gonna disconnect it real quick, just for safety reasons, while we go ahead and do the upgrade. So to take that battery cover off, all we need to do is take our little pry tool. Now I got one here that here you can see it a little bit there. A little green thing that came with it. It's just simply a little piece of plastic. It allows you to get underneath the chip and basically pry it off. So that's all we're going to be doing here and just basically There it is. So you can see it just kind of sits there like that and we're gonna leave it that way until we're actually done with the upgrade and then when we're done we'll just simply plug that back in. No big deal. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put in our memory. Now what I've done is I've actually opened up this memory here. Uh, there you can see it, you can see the little 
um, nick that's in the connectors here so that tells you how to which direction to actually put that in so it's really you pretty much can't put these in the wrong way so very important to keep in mind now when you get to the actual memory you're going to find there's going to be two little levers on both sides here one that you could push that way the other you can push that way and when you do that it's going to release the memory it's going to come up just a little bit and then you can basically just take the memory out so we're going to go ahead and do that now Okay, so you got the the, uh, the new memory sticks. As you can see, that I have two of them here. One is an eight gig, one's a four gig. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a uh, dot there. We get that on camera view. A little bit of a uh, like a, a hole there in the connection. So that's how you're going to know which which direction to plug this in. You notice that this little uh, hole right here will align with a little bit of a bump on the connector on the MacBook Pro, and that's how you know what direction to put this in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Now that the memory is in there, you actually could go ahead and stop right now if all you were doing was a memory upgrade. So if, at this point, if all you were doing is a memory upgrade, you would just simply plug this little battery terminal back in, just, just to connect it, and then you would just simply reverse everything we've done, put the lid back on, screw everything in, and you're done. At that point, when you reboot the laptop, you should be able to see in the About This Mac section your increased amount of memory. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to continue and we are going to be upgrading that. We're going to actually take out that hard drive and we're going to put in an SSD drive. So let's go ahead and get going on that. Okay, taking out the hard drive is actually really easy. There's a little rail here right on the back that's going to have two Phillips screw drive, uh, screws in it. So all we're going to be basically doing is removing these two screws and then yanking up on this little piece of plastic here and it takes the thing right out. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you have it out, there's a SATA connector right here. We're just simply gonna unplug it. And there it is. The hard drive is now free and clear. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is prepare your new drive to be put in. So there's a couple things that need to be done here. One is the little plastic tab that you use to pull the drive out, your old one. You wanna take that out. We're going to attach it to the new drive. The other thing that we're gonna do is you're, there's gonna be uh, a mounting screw on the four corners of the drive. You'll see them there. We're going to need to remove all four of those mounting screws and then we're going to go ahead and put them onto our new drive. So let's go ahead and get that done now. Okay, at that point, your old drive is pretty much free and clear, so we can go ahead and put that aside. And you could do whatever you want with that drive later, it's pretty much up to you. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach those screws to the new drive just as they came off the old one. Okay, there it is. So this is how it's going to get mounted into the MacBook. We've got the plastic thing in the exact same spot it came off the old one, and we have the four mounting screws attached to it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the SSD drive into the MacBook. First thing we're going to do is take our SATA connector and we're going to plug it up. Now being that it's pinned, obviously you can only plug this in in the right direction, so you don't need to worry about getting it wrong. There it is. And then you line up the two screws on one side 
with the other. Now, so basically the, the four screws that we attach are gonna go in, they're just gonna kinda sit in these little holes. It helps keep the drive in alignment inside the unit. 